Now, if you are living in a condo, I know they approach you all the time, condo dwellers, and Non-stop. they're asking you for projects and DIY ideas. What are the big issues that they have? So big shout out to Vancouver, because yes. so many people live in condos and they want to take advantage of their outdoor balconies. And what we're now seeing statistically mm -hmm. is those balconies are worth a lot of money. In right. fact, more and more real estate agents are including the square footage of the balcony in the square footage of the entire house. Okay. So what that means is when they're listing this, the condos and they're saying, oh, this condo is 800 square feet or, you know, if you're really lucky, 1,000 square feet, but they're also saying your balcony is 200 square feet, so now you have at least 1,000 square feet of living space. Right. And people are justifying the costs of condominiums based on the total living space. That includes the outdoors. So we have to address the outdoors, especially if you want to hold the value. Mm -hmm. So many people email me saying, Carson, I don't want to just do the little wooden tiles on my balcony floor. I don't want to just put an outdoor rug. I want to do something on the concrete that looks good. Okay. So I had a fan email me saying, hey, would this work? And I loved her idea. So I'm going to share it with everybody else. What was her idea? Well, now this is my little, not concrete, but yeah. it's a piece of plywood that I've painted with a primer paint. Right. And we're actually going to make flagstone. Oh, okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah, That's a and great it's so idea. easy to do. And I think we have a, there it is. Yeah, That's we're going to make that flagstone today. It's so easy for any condo dweller to do. And I love that you're putting on the black rubber gloves. We're getting into this. Yeah, well, we're going to so be dealing with concrete. We're going to deal with sticky stuff. Sticky Yay. stuff? Okay. And I saw a segment where you said to Mike Ward that you love the black rubber gloves. So I bought. Black rubber, I can't you even You know speak. why? Because they're just they're just a little bit more classier than the translucent I ones. I think they they're make just, my hands look skinnier. There's something about them. They're slimming. <laughs> All right, so have a little fun. So I brought plywood, and the reason yeah. I brought plywood is because it's rough. When you're working with concrete, it is also going to be rough. Right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to prime it. You Got do it. actually have to prime it. It should take about half an hour. You're going to paint a good floor primer. You can get them at any box stores. Yeah. They're available pretty much anywhere. It doesn't matter the color, but I like gray because this is going to be the color. Everyone likes gray right yeah, now. Yeah, well, it's going to be the color in between your grout lines. Got it. Okay. Right. Once you've painted it you've and you've let it, it dry. You've primed it. You don't even have to clean it. You don't have to clean it? No, and that's just the beauty. Just go right over the part, top because you want it rough. Got Stone it. is not smooth. It's rough. Okay. Then we're going to make Flagstone. flagstone. Now, so you can have fun with this. I yeah. mean, you can make it zigzag. That's exactly. what flagstones are. While you're doing it, I'm going to point out a couple of ways that you shouldn't do it. And okay. as you do it, I'm hoping you're going to make one of the mistakes. Yay. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> stones very I can't rarely, guarantee it. Yeah, stones very rarely come in squares. Right. So always aim for at least three or five sides to your stone. Okay. Right. As you're laying it out, not only are you making the space on each side of the tape, but you're looking at the whole pattern that you're creating. Right? You're trying never to have perfect straight lines. Tracy, you're doing awesome. Thank you. You can come and do my concrete patio. <laughs> Maybe I will. Another use for this is you can do this along the bottom of a house on your flashing, on the concrete parging that's on the bottom of the house. Okay, if you want yeah. to add a little impact. I saw somebody do this underneath um, stucco. Oh, and it looked amazing. Nice. Absolutely great idea. Okay, so Trace, you're doing a really good job here. Loving this. Okay. So once you've got this done, you're going to take this fun stuff. Yeah. Now this is what we're seeing all over the place. This is compound, and how much fun is that? Just tell us what we have to be worried about here. Like, does it dry quickly? It does it? Do doesn't, we have to... No, it doesn't dry quickly. It's dead easy. You're just literally scraping it on. And okay. you're actually trying not to make it smooth. It, it doesn't actually smell. smells good. Are you one of those people that likes to smell you the love, glue? No, I'm like, I can't believe you just sniffed the glue. I love it. It smells uh, good. The segment's going downhill from here, everybody. Just saying. <laughs> I'm so just, you're just saying it's another benefit. So you're just going to spread it on, and you're just going to scrape it on. Okay. Right? You want to try? Yeah, and yeah. make it make it not so smooth. Rocks are not smooth. Like, so you want detail smooth. and you want texture. If okay. You can get in there with your hand and actually spread it. Make some texture in this because it's fun. Right. <laughs> Big kid in the garden. <laughs> but it, it looks better when it's messy. Yeah, all right. it does. Once you've got it all spread out, kind of yeah. like you've done there and you've covered the lines, you're going to let this dry. Right. And through the magic of television, I have one right here that's dry. Ta-da. Ta-da. This is kind of what it looks like when it's dry. Okay. Okay. Because there are a couple of colors in the stone already in this treatment, you don't have to add a ton more to get the color and the look. But I love to just take some of the rock spray paint Ooh, oh, and nice. just go right over the top of it. Okay. You want to grab the other one there? I think this one's a bit gunged up. There you go. Thank you. So there's a different color. Oh, look at that. So you can add a bit of color and add some texture around your tape lines. Right. Okay? Just to make it look a little less perfect. That's right. Give it that look like it's stone. Exactly. Give it highs and lows so it's got some shadow to it. Then comes the fun part. You're going to pull the tape. 
Nice. Isn't that great? So if so you wanted, simple. like if you wanted to have a smaller, um, a smaller grout, you can just cut your painter's tape in half you and make it a little tinier. Any size of tape you want. You right. can go bigger, you can go smaller. For this point, I just you went a little bit uh, bigger because so you it's can a little actually easier. See it. Yes, it's easier to peel. Right. Right? And it shows up a little bit better. Right. But yeah, you also can do this in a geometric pattern. Oh, you don't that's have to true. do flagstone. You can do straight lines, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You don't have to use the colors I chose. You can go with any color. But what's the beauty of this particular product is it's specifically designed for our Canadian outdoors. Nice. It's not for California, so it's, it's for here. Absolutely. So it puts up with snow. It puts up with all of the things that we throw at our condos. Right. Right? On the balconies, the water comes in, the snow, all that stuff. This is going to withstand it and look fantastic for the entire time you're in the space. What I love is that not only are you putting projects out there for viewers to try, you're also trying their projects. So send us more. I love it. Absolutely. Did you get it via social media? Was it Twitter, Facebook? Was it email? This person sent me a link to another website saying, Carson, can I do this? And okay. I love that. Yeah, she actually emailed it to me directly and I'm all for it. Keep it coming. Absolutely. Because he'll try it out for you and he'll let you know <laughs> if it's going to work or not.